Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to find your own glitch in Call of Duty World at War Zombies uh, for the iPod, iPhone, or iPad. So, basically how it runs is that it's easier for the younger generations to be glitched compared to the newer generations. So, what I mean by this is... I'll give you the list. So, the first iPhone and the iPod first generation is the easiest to glitch in. Then it is the iPhone second, uh, yeah, second generation, and the I iPhone 3G, and the, and then it is the iPod second generation, and the iPod second generation MC model, and then. It is the iPhone 3GS and the iPod 3G and then the iPod 4G and iPhone 4. Now, the reason why it's harder for newer devices to be glitched is because of the fact that there is more RAM or more memory and in the newer generations so that it's harder for the newer for the um newer generations to be glitched. So, in, in Call of Duty, when you want to find your glitch, what you have to do is you have to run into a corner. When you run into that corner, uh, you should, if you don't start bouncing, then you should find a different corner. But if you do start bouncing, then this is what you're supposed to do. So, um, the reason why you start bouncing is because you, you're trying to move forward into two sides of a wall. And one side, and you run into one side faster than the other. And when you keep doing this, your and when it keep when you keep doing this, and it keeps shake your screen keeps shaking. Then it takes up much more. It takes up a lot of memory. And <coughs> as a result, the uh, once it um, runs out of memory, the game will actually um, pause, and then you will have to restart. And then it would come, and then the memory would come right back, and you will ha be inside the glitch. However, in the newer generations, if you have, um, if the, uh, what do you call it? In the newer generations, the memory, there's much more memory, such as the iPod 3rd generation and the 4th generation, so that the memory actually recycles and you won't you won't run out of memory and that's why it's harder for the newer generations and when you plug in the charger to find the glitch easier um, the reason for that is because um, when you're charging it uses memory for a short second because it has to process what you just done when you plug it in and when and um, if it's jailbroken, if your iPod is, or iPhone is jailbroken, and you have uh, the application called Backgrounder, which lets you multitask, then while it's trying to multitask, it'll use a battery, and it's pretty much the same as plugging in a charger, so that will also work. And now, for some things that will not work, um, locking your screen. Now, when you lock your screen, or when you sleep your iPod, um, the game actually pauses, so it doesn't use up a lot of battery. And, let's see. Um, yeah, that's about it. And when you enter, and another thing that you can do is pausing in the game. So, like, when you start <coughs> running, into a <laughs> running into a corner and it starts shaking like crazy, um, you can pause the game. And while it's pausing, the uh, memory will be used up. So that is another way. But less memory is used up. So um, I would m recommend actually plugging in your charger or using Backgrounder because those two are the most helpful. And try using a, um, an older generation iPod or iPhone because it's going to be easier and as for iPads 
it's already gonna, it's already going to be harder because the RAM is already really high on that device. So yeah, try to use um, older generation iPods and just make sure you find a corner and you you start shaking because if you do not shake then you probably won't be able to um, glitch it and so thank you guys and I will be posting more glitches up soon and peace